Again, Pittsburgh, PA, we're with the man, Howie Bell. What's new today, Hal? Well, you know, I guess it's a lot of uh, news that people are talking about this uh, feeding scandal. Oh, the University of North Carolina. Let me yeah. ask you some questions about that. Okay, all right, sure. Okay, Hal. I guess it's been was going on for 18 years down in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Basically, athletes were basically given certain grades in classes where they had to show up once, yes. write some paper that was basically yeah, a joke. I, I and mean, uh, Let me ask you a question here, Howard. Do you have a problem with that? Where an athlete is going to take a basically a bogus class mm -hmm. where they just have to show up once or twice and they're going to get an A or B for the class. Do you have a, are, are, do you have a problem with that? Me, or, me personally? I personally, no. And you know what? When Finney Testaferli paid play quarterback at Miami. I think that he took up a physical ed ed education. Now, I don't know, he wasn't uh, going to be a physical education teacher. He, he just, he uh, did that just to stay afloat. All right. And to, to maintain that he was actually taking courses. Exactly. But what do you, so, but we're getting back to North Carolina. These kids are basically not even having to show up for class and they're just giving a certain grade, like an A or B. Well, hypothetically, I'm just giving you a, a name, yeah. and a, you know, a letter, an A or B. Don't you think that they're basically, it's unfair to the other students that are going there for an education to learn and have to study? Do you feel it's unfair or is it okay? Well, your personal I opinion. think that it, 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 it's okay. Because when you go to college, you're preparing for your future. Their future isn't in a classroom. Their future is the opportunity to be able to uh, play pro football. I'm not saying that they're going to be basketball too, Howie. Basketball too. Fine. Yeah. I mean, that's it. But that's what about what about what about if they don't make it in the pro football or pro basketball arena, and they have nothing to fall back on? They can't read or write well, or whatever. Okay, it's basically the same thing that someone going there for med school and uh, flunking out of a med school. Do they have something to fall back on then? Well, they I don't think so. All right, Al. Okay, I mean, you know, at college is supposed to present the, the opportunity. All right. And you have to take the opportunity to, to the next level. I'll tell you what, Howie, society... People watching this video, well, I'm, they're, I'm they're not society. Does we're asking but, you? It's you, how we, we, we I respect your opinion. Yeah, you know I mean, it's your opinion. People, yeah, think, yeah, yeah, society's okay. not going to agree with but, you on this one. But society isn't taking these individual football players or kids, okay, I guess I'm going to say kids, and, and preparing them for life. That's something that they have to do, but in, you know, they're going uh, to our uh, to, uh, school for, for sports. All right. If they want the opportunity to, to go to college and get drafted by the pros, either in in a basketball, baseball, football, what I have you, then, then, then they deserve the opportunity. So you basically said it's okay if... Uh, I don't think that... The, you think it's team, okay? I'll just give you an example. It's okay if a football player, whatever, mm -hmm. Tony Dorsett went to Pitt and... Tony Dorsey oh, didn't have to show up for a class. Oh, I'm sure there was some some uh, cheating there too. I'm sure there was, but I'm, I'm just asking I'm sure you, your personal opinion. Now, we're just, we're, I I agree with you wholeheartedly. Okay. Right. Your personal opinion, it's okay. Yes. If the player yes. doesn't have to go to class, it's, as long as they play football. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to be through our future. All right, now, and as the, usual, yeah, and I think it's we love that they that they get the proper Al, opportunity. We love your opinions, the man, the legend, as we call him, Howie Bell.